I snuck off to Hawaii right before my transfer. What's up, fertility? Let's get these babies, ladies. For a brief presentation of this aircraft A320, please let us know if your monitor is not working. Just landed in Minion Place. Today is the 3rd of June and I'm headed to Hawaii. Hopefully you can Amy, hear me. Denver passenger Amy Lynn Toe to gate F16. Amy Lynn Toe to gate F16. <laughs> I've arrived in Hawaii. I'm at the hotel. I'm the only one ready. Um, it's a little after four. Deidre's coming, um, one of my day ones, and her husband. And so we're going to have dinner. I'm waiting on my sister. I'm waiting on Deidre. And I'm soaking up the sun. Hawaii is a mask mandate state, even though we are vaccinated and had to test negative 72 hours, uh, within 72 hours of arrival. So that was a whole adventure. But anyway, we're here. I'm waiting. Uh -huh. It's Friday, it's the 4th of June. I totally forgot to do a room tour yesterday and I've already slept in it, but I'm gonna show you guys what the room looks like. Just, it's, you know, slightly used. Okay, here's the entrance. There's the closet. I've got my stuff up there. Um, there's this for the ironing board is in there and the iron. Here's the main part of the room. This is the sleeping area. Here is the bathroom. That is my mask from yesterday. It kind of looks like underwear now that I'm saying it, but it's a mask. <laughs> and there I am, hi. You have this glass in the bathroom, so you get light through, but it's um, opaque, so you can't see. Then there's the shower, or you can't see through it. There's the shower. Um, this has got a pocket door to get in and out and you've got the opaque glass again. And it's just me, so I got just one bed, nice king size bed. It was actually very comfortable. I was worried because there's only one mattress, but it was super comfortable. No box spring needed. And we've got some nice little decorations over there. This little seating area. So, have I shown you guys this? Oh, I left it on. This is like a nice little portable heater. I've been, whoa, I've been using it for my injections. I gotta turn it off. To heat up my oil and to heat up my bomb. I got it for travel, but I practiced with it last week. Anyway, um, here's a nice little seating area. And then there's the desk. There's also a coffee maker on the desk. Ice, there's a fridge. We got some Prosecco in there. Uh -oh. My meds. And then the piece de resistance. It's the terrace. 
We're on the, or I am on the 24th floor, which is the top floor of the hotel. It, this is the uh, Marriott Waikiki. There you go. And bam, what? Gorgeous, right? So we're at the top. There's no neighbors upstairs and just beautiful ocean. There's some other property. At first I thought that was our pool, but then I realized there's a street right there. So we're gonna go swimming later in our appropriate pool, of course. <laughs> I think the last time I was here, I hiked that. Um, no, I did, I can't remember the name of it, but I did hike that mountain the last time I was here in 2007. <laughs> yeah, so there's, that's the room. It's very cute, my hair is curled back up. I am, um, I think I vlogged a little bit yesterday, so it was like blown out and I had done the Bantu knot, so it had like a little bit of wave, but the humidity here took over, so yeah, that's. That's what it's doing. It was um, very warm yesterday when we first arrived. And so I was like standing in the queue to get my, um, like to prove that I was exempt so I didn't have to quarantine. And it was very warm. So that's when my hair started curling up. And then we went out to dinner last night with Deidre, my sister, my sister's friend, Alexis and Deidre's husband. And we sat outside and it was like raining and humid. So this is what happened to my hair. But I'm not mad at it though. I actually kind of like it. Um, I put a little bit of shea butter in there, um, like body shea butter. Cause I didn't have, I didn't bring cause I thought I don't know what I thought, but anyway, it's um, this thing. I don't have my glasses on so I can't read it, but it's it smells really good. Oh, it's called Nourishing Island Butter. So it's got Shea and some other stuff in there. Anyway, so that's the room tour. Better late than never. I am getting ready to go meet my sister for breakfast. It's 7.08 here, which means it's like one o'clock in New York. So I've been up since two. I had to take my first um, estradiol tablet, but I've just been wide awake since then. So yeah, I think I probably will just try to stay on my New York time zone so that it's not too painful when I get back next week, but we'll see. <laughs> Aloha. Here's my outfit check. This is the dress that mom made me. Um, not last year, 2019, when I went for Alexis's graduation. I'm wearing my Teeks, um, the nude pair. Yesterday I had on sandals and my feet were so dirty. So I think I'm just gonna wait until we actually go to the beach to wear my sandals and not walk around with them like the little flip flops cause my feet were like black at the bottom. So not fun. Um, anyway, that's what I'm wearing for today. shopping today got this two piece this is a dress um, like a swim cover up and it has um, a strap that goes around that goes with the swimsuit and then this is a sarong which can also go with the swimsuit and with this shirt, like a t-shirt over the top, so my boobs are not out for the world to see, and my bikini. And then I just thought this was cute. I got something in a similar print last time I was here. Actually, it was reversed. It was pink with the white flowers, but I liked it, so. Um, it's shorter than the one that I got last time, but I like this part at the top, the ribbing, because um, it holds snug, so. Yeah, just a little fun. They did come in make up the bed and all that, even though I asked them not to. I just wanted linens dropped off, but it's okay. I just got up from my nap and I am fully unpacked now. Got my stuff over there. Suitcase is empty. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I woke up at like 10 o'clock this morning. Or no, two o'clock, two o'clock this morning. By 10, I was ready to lay back down. 
we went to this place called Eggs and Things and had this amazing breakfast. I had the Hawaiian French toast, or it's like Hawaiian sweet bread French toast. And then they added pineapple, coconut, and this whipped cream, which I think had maybe pineapple in it. We couldn't tell what it was, but it was something, but it was so good. And it was fresh whipped cream, like freshly whipped. Yummy, yummy. And then I also did um, Portuguese sausage with um, over medium eggs and some Hawaiian fried rice. So whew, I was full afterwards. Um, I went and hung out with my sister and Alexis in their room for a little bit. And then I had to come and lay it down. I thought I was gonna take like a 15 minute power nap. It ended up being two, three hours. Now I gotta um, do my injection. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're going to the Tiki bar at 3.30. This time zone change is a beast. It's a six hour difference. So when I woke up at 2 a.m. here in Hawaii, my body was like, it's really 8 a.m. So I felt like I overslept and I made myself lay in the bed because I was like, it's still dark outside. And then finally I just got up at two. So we'll see. Well, it was gonna make for an interesting Monday when I get back to New York. I was trying to stay on New York time, but it's the gap is too big. So there you go. I will show you outfit number two once I uh, do my shot and get dressed. All right, this is outfit number two. Just got up from my nap. Um, I thought this was gonna have a little more support, but it's okay. And my sister is here. She's sitting out on the terrace. Say hi to the fam. <laughs> the light is behind you. And here's what the beach is looking like this afternoon. How are you enjoying Hawaii? All right, we're gonna get out of here. Hi guys, hi fertility fam. Hi. We're in Hawaii today. It's I'm the night, fan. it's Friday. It's <laughs> about today. Thanks this weekend, weekend today. we're in Hawaii. Last minute sister trip, friends. Yes, last minute, that's when you know you're <laughs> <ballin'. laughs> Look. Good morning, it's Saturday. This is what I have. I'm wearing, I don't know if you can see it, the bikini top that I got, and then just some white pants from J. Crew, and this little thing. I'm trying to keep these up to keep my love handles in, but you know what? I don't even care. <laughs> this is what I got going on. We're going on a morning cruise, so I thought that'd be cool. so I can connect with the earth, the pull of the moon. We're gonna summon all of Mother Earth's power for the transfer. <laughs> I'm trying to spin money, y'all. Hey there. All right. 
snuck off to Hawaii right before my transfer. So the doctor called this morning and 1.30 tomorrow is my transfer. Transfer in one embryo. So keep me in your prayers. Hey fam. All right. Aloha. <laughs> that was not a good shot. Wait, let's do that again. Aloha. I'm back on the mainland. I made it home. I am unpacking. I got that one emptied. I got to do laundry. I'm just going to chillax. I got food. Um, yeah, I had a blast. Thank you, Deidre and Vaughn, for showing us a good time. We got to go to some of the local spots. The last night we went to Wolfgang Puck. I didn't film as much as I thought I would, but then I just wanted to be in the moment. So hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the scenery that I did share. Um, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. Oh, we went to this place, Hula Dog, the last place we went to. Um, really yummy hot dog place. And I had like a uh, pineapple relish. All kinds of just like random different stuff because we did some regional stuff, we did some traditional stuff, but all of the food was amazing, which is why you see that large belly um, that I just flashed when I was showing you my Aloha shirt. But yeah, it was um, it was good. It was amazing. And they're opening up. I heard on the 15th of June they are going, you don't have to wear the mask all the time. So or and you oh wait a minute don't let me spread misinformation for sure you don't have to test to get onto the island without quarantine as of the 15th and i think indoor masks are going away for sure the outdoor masks were already there like when we were on the boat we didn't have to have our mask on but yeah anyway it's opening up when i checked out the receptionist or whatever they're called at the front desk um said that the people coming in like this was their most their highest capacity since the start of covid so it's booming. It's booming. There's a lot of places if you are going to go, you're going to want to do reservations before you get there, like before you even get to the island because the capacity is restricted. And so there's not as many people going like we wanted to do a luau and it was booked like, I think two weeks out. So obviously this was a last minute trip. We hadn't planned it. I had done a luau before the last time I was there. Sister hadn't done it, but we'll, we'll go back and she'll get to do it. It's definitely an experience. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we had fun for what it was. It was, like, a last-minute trip. It's Hawaii. Why not? And we didn't get to do, like, all the touristy things we um, thought we were going to do. However, Deidre showed us around, and we got to see some spots that tourists don't know about. In fact, one guy came over and was like, which one of you guys is from here? Like, how do you guys know about this spot? Um, yeah, and just, so I think it was, like, a good mix. The last time I went, I had, like, a big list from a friend of mine, Laura Choi, who had lived there, who gave me... A uh, bunch of stuff to do. Anyway, I'm rambling. We had good time. I just saw on... Do you guys watch Mama Dr. Jones? That she moved to Hawaii? I was like, girl, I'm glad I did not see that video. I would have been stalking you. I don't know why. I would love to do a collab with her. I don't know about what. I just love her channel. I love her energy. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all. I'm rambling. I'm back. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Baby does to us all.